Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to do another page in my <clears throat> Bible art journal. It's a single column journaling Bible but from Crossway. It's an ESV and this is the front cover. It's got these beautiful leaves on it and I'm going to use the one and done line art transfer sheets and Isaiah. I have some masking fluid here. The masking fluid I use is Dr. P.H. Martin's. And it is just quivers and bows. And it is an Isaiah. I have already put um, clear gesso in the word area and this time I put watercolor ground on the image I'm going to use pretty excellent watercolors I get these I got these from Amazon comes with a little handle on the back <clears throat> Isaiah it has to do with a lot of the servant songs about Jesus and God designated him before birth to a particular calling as a light for all nations. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to move my chair and do some watercolor. I have some brushes that I bought from either Walmart or Michael's. So let's get started. I'm going to use some browns for the piece that holds the arrows. And I'm not going to water, I'm not going to wet it a whole lot, just a little bit just to get some color down. I do like using watercolors in my Bible. Grab my little, I just have an old towel that I've cut up. If I don't like what I put down, I'll just pick it up. And watercolor ground seems to work really good. Um, it does help your watercolors flow better. I got mine through Amazon. And this channel, I really just do a lot of coloring. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to preach the gospel to anybody. If you want to know what it is, then um, there are ample avenues for you to learn it. The Bible would be one. Um, church would be another. And let me put the light color in here. And I notice... There's not a back to it, so I will do that. And I'll come down here. All right, and now that that's dried some, I'll darken this up a little bit. It, did, it does look like it bled, but I'm gonna use a darker color for that, so I'm not gonna worry too much about how that bled into where it looks like there are leather straps. because this is supposed to be like an older, old time image. Um, so it's not going to be perfect in the way it was drawn. And that's fine with me. I probably wouldn't be able to draw this, <clears throat> excuse me, myself. So it's all good. I'll take a smaller one. This is an eight. The first one was a 10, and I will get a darker brown. Um, let's see. These are the colors that come in this watercolor set. I really do like them. They're very pigmented. They're very nice. And I'll just create 
a darker brown for my leather straps here because they did use different um, animal hides to create what they needed I'm sure so I'm not fussy when it comes to my lines <clears throat> excuse me but I just want to show what I do for whatever verse in my Bible that I'm working on um, I'm not a preacher by any means so I'm just showing you this for the sake of using a line art image in any type of drawing and how you can get quick results by using them. And I'll go down here. And the other products like the watercolor ground and things like that. Uh, let's see, what is this one? Ah, that's nice. I'm using Van Dyke Brown. Um, the other one was a combination of sepia and raw sienna. And what I have right now, which is really, really dark, really red, which I wanna add. See what I mean by really red? That's the burnt sienna. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit of a brown to it to tone it back some, which would be the Van Dyke brown. So I'll just take some of the Van Dyke brown, mix it in, darken up some of that red in there, and come through and do my strap. There's a little something on there. But I will say if you ever do like on really thin paper um, watercolor and you use watercolors watercolor ground works really great it allows the watercolors to stay on top of the page instead of sinking in um, like it does on a lot of regular paper like I will buy inexpensive sketchbooks and I'll use the watercolor grounds to use my watercolors in and they stay put at the top. They really do. And it's it's quite nice. Because that way, watercolor paper is very expensive. And a lot of times, I don't have the extra funds for watercolor paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I think I'll go down here with this dark brown color. And I'll go around here just to break it up a little better. And I can even outline my straps. To make them stand out a little better. But you can order these, the line art, the one and done. If you do Bible journaling or any type of drawing, I'm not that great at drawing, so I prefer to use these. All right, and I think I'll use some, I'll insert some color in here. Um, I might use reds and blues because those were a lot of main colors back in the back in late times because they used fruits and vegetables to dye their clothing so that's what I'm gonna use so and I'll just put that right here that's awfully lipsticky color but I'll darken it up a little bit with a little bit of purple 
so that it's not so bright. And I will just come in here and I'll go around my little circles real quick. Almost like Native American Indians. Um, they dyed a lot of their, their furs and their hides and their skins with berries and vegetables. and leaves and just through nature so that's why I want to give this a more realistic look I guess but the watercolor ground is working great on here, the, the watercolors are not sinking into the page. I'll lift it up and show you. There. it's You can see it because it's wet. But they're staying on top pretty nice. Without bleeding through too much. All right. And let's see, what would be a like a blueberry, which is bluish purple. So I'll just pick a blue and put it down. This is cobalt blue. And I'm actually going to mix it a little bit with the red. Excuse me. It, you know, I wish the weather could make up its mind. <laughs> One day it's hot and the next day it's cold. And boy, I'm telling you, that just really goes great with people with allergies. Um, it just doesn't work very well. Plus they use some minerals that they found um, to dye things with. But I was trying to go for almost like a blueberry color. But it just came out as a darker blue. All right. And let's see. I have a little bit of black here. I'm going to use it. And I'll just... Use that for the little circles. I mean, you can paint these whatever you want. And then I'll go up with my arrows. And I'll do a little bit of the arrows in the black for the feathers and then I can come back in with some browns But yep, that is the book I'm doing now is, is Isaiah. And I think I'll go and create some different shades of browns and yellows, and but I'll make them a little thicker so that they don't mix too much with each other. Just to give the feathers on the arrows a little more depth. All right, now I'm going to pull off my washi tape because I use washi tape to hold my pages down a lot of times so that they don't curl up on me when I'm working on them. Um, 
I'm going to dry this real quick and I'll be right back because I want to put color in the background. Okay, it's dry. Let me <clears throat> move this a little bit more. And I will take the size 10 again. I mean, I could use a bigger brush. Uh, let's see what I have as far as watercolor brushes. I mean, this is not a watercolor brush. It's just a large round. But here's one. I got these from Amazon. They were super long. I mean, super long. So I had my husband cut the ends on them. All right, and I am just going to pick up some water. And doo -doo -doo. I'm going to go with some blue, which would be like a Prussian blue. And I'm just going to lay it down. And I'll wet it over here. I'll pick it up and then I'll put it over on here. And I'll just drop it in. And I'll just put it in the background a little bit. And I'll move it around. And if it starts to puddle, I'll pick it up with the tip of the brush. Because that's what watercolor brushes do. And I'll pick up some more. I just want to put like... And then the mask it here will not even allow that to... down there I can still see my words and I'll just come in and pick this up and lay this down the watercolor ground is doing great and I think I'll go like a rose color why not mm, I don't have any space though <laughs> on my a little palette and it'll turn into purple which is fine I just wanted to do something on the page itself and I can drop it in and I'll pick up some of the blue which turned to purple which is just not what I wanted, but it's better to just go with the flow than to get upset. I mean, I'm learning this. I really am learning this. You know, I kind of like the way this is looking. I didn't want anything perfect. I wanted quite a watercolory, rainbowy looking effect, if that makes any sense. And I'll pick up some more of the rose. I'll tap some of it off. I'll come down here and put it on here. I'll come up here, mix it with some of the blue, and let the blue drag with it. It's all just in fun to just do something different. Why not? I'll just move some of this color around. I like the way it spreads out, it does its own thing. Up a little of that. Pick up some blue. Throw that in here because that's going to turn to purple.
just get a touch of blue and work it in through here. Like I said, when I do Bible study and I have the images for the pages or the section that I'm working on, it's, it's nice to add an image to what I'm doing. And I'll just find my little white spots, move them together where All right, I'm going to dry this, and I'll be right back. Okay, it is dry now, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the masking fluid. And all you do is just gently rub against it. I have my hand firmly on my paper because I don't want it to rip anything. And there is, I can just grab this. It's like that booger stuff <laughs> that kids love to play with. All you do is just rub it against each other and it picks itself up. And that's, that's it when it comes off. Just a little ball of rubber. All right, and then if I wanted to, I can just come in here and find just like a, a Dollar Tree color flow pen, I guess. And I can just come through and outline everything if I wanted. So that it looks a little more finished. But I mean, that's totally up to the person. I can make my arrows more pronounced. Gives it more definition. And I can come here. With my leather straps. Around my quiver. These pens work great. I, I, I can honestly say that I have no issues using these pens in my art journaling work. Um, they work great. Do they bleed through? No, not really. There's some shadowing, but you'll always get shadowing no matter what you use. Um, so... Because Bible pages are very thin, just give a couple of these to make them stand out more. And it says, the Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother, he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword, and the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made a polished arrow in his quiver. He hid me away. That is the image for that passage in Isaiah, which would be 49 2. Thanks for watching. 
like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.